Alright guys, I'm here with another prediction game video for Battleground 2014. This is the Divas Championship match that is going to take place this Sunday. It is going to be the champion AJ Lee versus the former champion and challenger Paige. Now, this, this feud really took like a different turn. I mean, I was expecting AJ versus Paige for, for a while, ever since Paige won the championship off of AJ, you knew that AJ was going to come back eventually, and when she did, she would go after Paige and go after uh, her, or, or try to get her Divas championship back. But, personally, I thought she was going to do it as a heel. Because, you know, when she lost the title, she lost it as a heel. I thought, okay, okay you know, AJ maybe returns as a heel once again, attacks Paige or something like that, or just, you know, uh, comes back and demands her rematch. And until that time, I didn't think Paige was going to lose the Divas title. If you look back at, like, all of my prediction game videos, uh, whenever Paige defended the title, so I think Payback, Money in the Bank, uh, Extreme Rules, I think so. Uh, anyways, yeah. <laughs> if, you look at, if you look at all those prediction game videos, I stated that I don't think Paige is going to lose the Divas title until AJ comes back. Until then, I didn't see her losing it to Alicia Fox or to Naomi or to Mina. I was just waiting until AJ was coming back. And I thought, you know, if she's going to lose the title, she's probably going to lose it to AJ. So she, she did lose it to AJ on Raw, but it just, it wasn't how I pictured it. I thought, like I said, AJ was going to return as a heel and maybe win the title back from Paige. But AJ returns as a face, you know, gets, gets a pop and wins the Divas title just like Paige did, you know, in a surprise, uh, unannounced title match where she basically challenged Paige and Paige gave in and she lost the title. And now, what it looks like is... It seems like Paige is soon to be a heel, and the reason I'm saying that is, like, right away, the same night AJ returned, you could tell, you know, Paige was kind of acting heel, uh, or heelish, and I thought that night that she had turned heel, because, you know, uh, she didn't want to give AJ the title match in the first place, and once she, once she gave her the title match in the match, she was really aggressive, uh, she was, you know, wrestling um, more so like a heel than a face. So I was like, alright, looks like, you know, AJ, uh, I mean, Paige just turned heel and AJ returned as a face. But, it looks like they're going uh, with a slower route, with like a slow heel turn. Where, right now, they're acting like friends, or at least Paige is acting like, pa uh, Paige is acting like AJ's friends. But, you know that, at some point, Paige is gonna turn on AJ. Now the question is, when does she turn on AJ, and when she does turn on AJ, does she cost her the championship in the process? Does she turn on AJ in the match itself, allowing her to win the title, like cheat or something like that, use the ropes, uh, or does she maybe attack AJ after a match or like on a segment on Raw or something like that? Now that I think is going to be the deciding factor on who wins the match this Sunday. Because if Paige turns heel in the match, then I definitely think Paige is going to win the championship this Sunday. But if she doesn't turn heel in the match and turns heel after the match, then I think AJ is going to win. Because it doesn't make sense for Paige to just win the championship, you know, clean as a face, doesn't cheat or anything, but after the match attacks AJ, it makes no sense. And so I think the result of this match depends on, like I said, when Paige turns heel, whether it be in the match or after the match. Personally, I think it's going to be after the match. Maybe not even at Battleground, but like on Raw the next night or, you know, a few weeks afterwards. I think what they're, they might do here is like a, a storyline similar to Christian and Randy uh, on SmackDown a couple, a couple of years back when Christian won the championship, the World Heavyweight title for the first time, and then Randy beats him for the title, like, the next night right away. And then Christian had a couple rematches. He didn't only have one rematch. He had, I think, two rematches before turning heel. Or actually, was it only one? Actually, it might have been only one rematch. I think it was actually one rematch. I'm not too sure about it. But basically, Christian got a rematch. 
he lost the match. After that match, he uh, there was a special guest referee match where Christian finally snapped and decided to hit Randy with the championship. So I think it's going to be the same thing here where AJ, you know, uh, so far, wh whenever they've challenged the other for the championship, they've won the title. Paige, first night on Raw, wins the title. AJ, first night on Raw back, wins the title off of Paige. And now you could have what they could, you know, what I can see happening is Paige is not successful at Battleground. She doesn't win the championship. So she gets frustrated that, hey, you know, how come I didn't win the championship this time? And then at some point, maybe on Raw, maybe right after Battleground when AJ retains, she attacks AJ and thus the heel turn starts. And because of that attack, it would continue the feud and you know, uh, set up for a rematch or two between the two. And then after that, after that heel turn, I could see then Paige winning the title back at some point, whether it be SummerSlam or not of champions. So to sum things up, I think it all boils down to does Paige turn heel in the match or after the match? Personally, I think she's going to turn heel after the match. So for that reason, I'm going with AJ. Hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, you can click that like button and I'm out. See ya.